We all know the feeling, tossing and turning in bed, unable to quiet the constant chatter in our minds. Worries about work, stress from our daily lives, and a never-ending to-do list that just won't let us rest. Or just obsessing about something irrelevant. It's no wonder so many of us struggle with getting a good night's sleep. What if I told you there were simple solutions to this problem, ways to improve your sleep quality, grow your resilience, and wake up feeling refreshed and energized? It all starts with reducing that self-talk at night. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today and tomorrow. If you're looking to not just survive, but thrive in today's crazy, complex world, then please subscribe and like this channel. Hit the alarm so you know when videos are coming on. I'm Ravi Tangri, and what I've discovered is with complex situations like our lives today, what you have to do is not make massive changes, but tiny little changes that shift the entire systems. And that's what I produce videos about every day so that you can identify those little Jedi mind tricks that will transform your life. So please subscribe, like, and share the videos to those who you feel could use this information. So today, we're going to get into how do you um, down or turn off that self-talk that keeps running all through your head all the time when you're trying to sleep. So... That's something we're going to hit today with a number of smaller strategies. And then tomorrow, I'm going to go into my biggest Jedi mind trick that I've got, that where you'll learn just how to turn it off just like that. So first off, let's take a look at what is the self-talk. What is this that's going on? That's your unconscious mind talking to you. Your unconscious mind is like a five-year-old kid. It never grows up. And what uh, it's doing is it's actually, believe it or not, trying to help you. And what's happening are a couple of things. Number one, if you're getting these to-do lists, I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to remember this, I've got to remember all that. What's going on with that is uh, it's trying to help you Make sure you get all the things done. It doesn't want you to mess things up. Okay, so it wants you to remember these things. So we'll, we'll talk about how you work with that. The other thing is your unconscious mind gets into patterns, into loops. So if you're in a habit of beating yourself up, of you know ruminating over past mistakes or worrying of the future, it just goes into that pattern and it'll repeat that pattern. Okay, so what we need to do is work effectively with it to be able to move forward. So what we're going to start off with now first is that to-do list that goes on and on and on in your head. So remember, it's trying to help you. So what you do, this is a real simple tool. You get yourself a little notepad, put it by the bed, low tech, just the way I like it. And you just write down all these to do's, all the things that keep running through your head, write them down. If you wake up in the middle of the night thinking something, write it down. It gets it out of the head, puts it there, and you're giving a message to your unconscious mind. I got it. I heard you. Thank you very much. And it will quiet down most times. What my coaching clients have found is that if they do this uh, you know, each night, it really only takes two or three nights and all of a sudden it doesn't run through their head. It's like your unconscious mind knows you're going to remember. Now, there are other ways of dealing with this. Before you leave work, you can send yourself an email of what you need to remember tomorrow so you know you'll get it or send yourself a voicemail and have that list of to-dos so you know that you'll have it when you go in first thing in the morning. 
So lots of ways of dealing with that. Now, the other thing that can run in a loop is all the ruminating, all the beating yourself up, all the worrying and anxiety about the future. And so here's where I prescribe another very, very high-tech tool. I suggest you go to the drugstore, the dollar store, and buy yourself a coil-bound scribbler. Now, this is a form of journaling, but it's very different from what you may know. I call it the venting journal. And what you do is all the stuff that's running through your head where you're going, I should have done this, should have done this, how am I going to do all that? You write it down, all of it. And put all the stuff that's running there, all the four-letter words, everything, until it just feels like whew, it's flushed. It gets it out of your head into the paper. Then what you do, tear out those pages, rip them up. It's amazing how great that feels to release it. Um, you can take this a bit further in that if you want to, you can burn the, uh, little pieces of paper and burn it in a safe environment. Or if you've got a wood stove, put it in there. And if you've burnt them, say in a metal can, you can go and bury the ashes. It's amazing how cathartic that is. So you, you know, you do this course the next day, you tear it up at night, but you can do this the next day to really let go of all that stuff. It's amazing how much of a difference it makes. And when you get out of that stuff, you will feel generally a lot more present, a lot more mindful. And you can leverage this by making time an hour to 90 minutes before you sleep to relax this cool down period that I suggest. Now, what a lot of people do is, you know, you've been working hard all day, you come back, you have dinner, you grab a glass of wine and you sit down and binge whatever you're binging on Netflix, and then you go and crash. That's actually the worst thing you can do because um, being exposed to that screen and it could be the TV or it could even just be on your phone scanning the, the feed on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, it brings a bright light into your eyes, which tells your body it's morning or it's daytime. And so you don't produce the chemicals that help you sleep. So when you, even though you're exhausted, when you go uh, from the TV and go to lie down, or God forbid you have a TV in your bedroom, uh, you're not going to have a good quality of sleep. You're going to be restless because your body is not in that sleep mode. You want to be able to relax. So if you can get the stuff out of your head, do things that will let you relax, meditate, have a bath, um, read a book, maybe take a walk. You know, do all of these things that will allow you to relax and feel more comfortable going to bed. Avoid technology. Now, if you wake up at night, all these strategies can work. Um, you know, you definitely avoid technology. Uh, what I would suggest, in fact, is that you keep your phone in another room to charge because you don't want to hear all the alerts and notifications as you're sleeping. Your unconscious mind hears all that and, is, and it's, it thinks that's important. At the very least, uh, mute it and charge it in the other side of the room so that you have to actually get up to get it. You're not going to be tempted to look at it if you wake up at night. You don't want it right there. If you need to use the alarm, put it at the other side of the room. Uh, or if not, if you've got a good old-fashioned alarm or clock radio, charge it in a different room so you don't start the day with it. Um, that's, that's really going to have a big impact as well. Um, and so if you wake up in the night, do not go to technology. Do not check what's popped up on the feed. Do the same things that you did in your cool down period, the uh, journaling, the reading, um, you know, all the things that you, uh, you do to relax and unwind. And when you start to get a little more tired, you have a 90 to 120 minute cycle called the ultradian cycle of wakefulness and sleep, 
that's when you go to bed. Don't try to force yourself to sleep when you're feeling wakeful. It won't work. Okay? So these are some simple strategies that you can use to be able to um, uh, help yourself get to sleep, quiet the self-talk, get to sleep. Tomorrow we're going to cover my big uh, Jedi mind trick for this where you can shut that self-talk off anytime you want. If you want a, uh, a head start on that, just uh, go to silenceselftalk.com and I have created a free course where it will take you in detail through how to build that strategy, how to master it to be able to turn off your self-talk. We'll give you an introduction tomorrow, but this course will give you all the details and it's completely free. So feel free to sign up and we'll finish off Better Sleep Week tomorrow with how to totally shut up that self-talk. Remember, if you want to see more of these videos that show you how to thrive in this crazy complex world that we're in, make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell so that you will be notified when the videos are up. And please like and share so that we can pass this on to everybody who can use this information.